doing thanks for joining me welcome back today I'm going to share with you my top five favorite skincare products and I'm also collabing with Palm Springs Cindy so if you guys would like to stick around and see what my top five favorites are keep on watching Okay, so today I am collabing again with Palm Springs Cindy and I we discussed that we were going to do a couple different collabs together. We thought that would be kind of fun and you know, I brought to her about maybe sharing our top five favorite skincare products. Uh, Cindy's video will be down below. If you are not already subscribed to her, please go check her out. She is a wonderful woman. I really enjoy watching her. I've learned a good bit about about her and from her and she's just a genuine beautiful woman inside and out can't wait to see what her top five favorites are because i'm kind of curious i always like seeing what other people are loving and maybe not and you know kind of giving us them tips and everything so i didn't realize i gave myself a challenge because i told her i said you know top five favorites well i started looking at my cover and i was like oh but I like that. I like that. I like it. It was hard. I, maybe I should have made it our top. Maybe I should have made it our top 10. But I thought top five just to keep it small, simple. And these are the products that, yeah, like basically right now in my skin regimen that I'm doing, these are the products that I really gravitate to. And I really would say they are favorites of mine and I've really, really been enjoying them. Also, I cannot wait to tell you guys because like I, ha I have a shampoo and conditioner. I, I know I get a lot of people who, you know, like say about my hair and everything. And I've been using a shampoo and conditioner right now, testing them out. Very affordable, very affordable shampoo and conditioner that I will have a video up of and do a review and you guys will be maybe surprised if you don't know about them already. Um, they are oldie, but a goodie. And I know I could say the one thing is, is Kim Kardashian raves over these. So that's all I'm going to say. And they will be in an upcoming video. I don't know about if it'll be this week, but it might be the next week, hopefully, if I can get it worked into. But it's been, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm a bit impressed. Let's just say that. So, all right, let's get into my skincare. So the first product that I have just fallen in love with and I had seen it on, oh my goodness, why do I do this? I do this all the time. I believe it's Anne-Marie. I'm trying to remember for sure. <laughs> oh, don't you just love when you have that little memory lapse there? I'll put a link down below to different people if I if I mention them in uh, links down below. So go ahead and check them out. But she had talked about how she really enjoyed the Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 uh, Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. She talked about how she loved this. She had it, she shared it in empties. So she was like, you know, yeah, it's repurchased or something like that. And she was talking about how she really liked it a lot. And I thought I had, you know, I didn't try much from Soap and Glory and this sounded interesting and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it and try it out. This is definitely right now my favorite cleanser. I would have to say this even bumped off uh, my Mario Badescu uh, orange cleanser, which I really like that one. Not that I don't, but I, this I fell in love with and the scent's very refreshing it's a nice refreshing scent. I can't quite explain it. In the morning, it's very refreshing, very awakening. Um, I just, I really love it. And it has, I'm not sure, you probably, yeah, you can see. See how it has like these little beads in there. They like are burst of beads that maybe that's what the vitamin C, I, I don't know. But it just is so refreshing, so cleaning. And it is a detox. I love it. 
So this will be a repurchase. Another product that I just simply fell in love with, and I've heard so many people talking about these peels, like the with with a gel, like where you massage and rub it on your skin, and you'll see pieces of your dead skin, these little little white balls of your dead skin on your face. And it was like Mary Ellen after 60, I believe, was the first one that I kind of heard it from. And then I also heard from Laura Shake Up Makeup. And I got so curious about these, these kind of products. Well, the body shop was nice and kind enough and sent me some products in their skincare. Like they've sent me a couple different skincare and I'm really enjoying the body shop. I I have to agree with Natalie, the beauty diva. She is somebody who really likes the Body Shop skincare. As a matter of fact, she uses a cleansing oil that I want to try. And, you know, we felt like, you know, yeah, it's kind of underrated. It's not always out there or talked about a lot. It's not a harsh peel. So it's, it's really a relaxing peel. It's very unique and different. My husband actually loves this. Like, he can't wait to use it. When we first did it, and I told him what it did, you know, he would just looked at me like, what the heck, you know, and he, he felt the, you know, his dead skin and everything. And he really fell in love with it too. It would be repurchased. So that is a definite for me. So while we're on to the body shop, this is another item that they sent me. Well, they sent me a whole bunch and it is their masks that they have. And they have a variety of different masks. They have a honey one. I love them all, actually. That's one of the things that made this hard, was I love them all in their own different way. But this one is the uh, Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask, which you guys probably heard me many times talk about this one here. Oh my goodness, I probably talked about this a lot on my channel. And I feel it is a dupe for the, for the All Famous Glam Glow. You know, it, it looks just like it. It, it acts like it. I, I did use it. I had like a uh, deluxe sample, one of the deluxe samples that they gave out before. And I have used it. And it's really nice. It is really nice. The thing in this one, you probably smell more of the, of the tea tree oil in it. So you do smell the minty, whatever, you know, the tea tree oil scent it gives off, like minty, menthol. I don't know if I want to say menthol, but it, it's a scent that's you know, it's very noticeable, uh, but I really love it. And any kind of mud mask, any kind of mud mask is excellent. If you're somebody, you know, you, you want to get your pores cleaned out. Like I, I could use this and this is a, a detox cleanser and everything, but maybe I want that little extra something just to make sure it cleans out my pores. Then I would use like something like this, like a mud mask of some sort, and it will pull out all the impurities, all the dirt and everything, you know, that just lays in your pores that maybe some of the cleansers don't quite get, you know? Uh, so I really like a good mud mask, but there's some kind of other particles that you can use to do a little extra scrub or exfoliate kind of a thing. So I really love their mask. So I'm super ecstatic and it's kind of nice because now I do want to jump into more of the Body Shop skincare. This like caught my attention and everything. So, and then another product that was sent to me, <clears throat> you guys know I've been raving over the Zoe Health from Zenabaji. I seriously, seriously am loving, if I had to pick several skincare brands right now um, that I would actually say, you know, I am really loving and I know I'd purchase more products from, would be Mario Badescu. I still love his products. I think he has great exceptional skincare for the price. The Body Shop is in there now because I've really enjoyed a lot of the products and you know yeah they can be kind of pricey but I think you just you pay for what you get and and sometimes it's worth spending the $25 or $40 on a skincare item compared to you know like if you went and got some makeup you know, and spent $40 on makeup. Skincare is the most important part than anything. Cause like I said, your makeup's not going to go on as well if you do not really work in your skincare regimen and find a good one for yourself. Everybody's gonna be different. These products here might not even work for you. You might not like them. They might not work for you. We're all different, but that's the fun part. We can 
try out different things and see how they work with us. And somebody like me and several others of us here on YouTube can share our experience and you can go and grab them and try them and check them out if you'd like, you know. So this is the uh, Zohel Skin Abaji. This is his Growth Factor Growth Factor Serum Plus. This, like I said on the video when I was showing my skincare routine, it seriously is such a spa-like feeling when you put this on. It's it's like no other serum that I've put on my face before. It's like silk. Do it at night, which I think that is what it does actually say to do is put it on at night. And it's a thick serum. You know, it's not uh, your typical, uh, some of the serums that you see that are more liquid and, you know, it is a more thicker serum, but holy, holy smack. When I wake up in the morning and I do this, and I even do it with that bee venom mask or something, I, I just can't even tell you. And, you know, yeah, I think these are the products that are working the best for my skin right now, and I'm really enjoying it. And then the last product that was for there, so this is my fifth product, and you know, I again have to give credit, and I'm hoping I'm saying Anne Marie. I'm hoping because I'm trying to think of her channel name. I will have, like I said, the links to everybody that I've discussed on here, uh, their links down below to their channel. So go and check them out. They're wonderful, uh, beautiful women here on YouTube that I've learned a good bit of skincare from and everything. Even Little Poet. I have to mention my Little Poet. I enjoy Susan so much, very much, and she's very knowledgeable with her skincare too. She's on a journey. I think we're all on that journey together. Do you know what I mean? A lot of you guys join us, you know, in the skincare journey. There's a lot of you guys out there, I'm sure, that feel the same way and you learn something different from each of us and maybe go out and try different products that each of us share, you know. So I'm pretty sure it was Amory. She had showed she had a big bottle of retinol and it wasn't from this company. This one's Advanced Clinicals. I forget what company she got. She gets hers on Amazon, which this here I got in my Walmart, but I'm not seeing it in my Walmart right now, whether it's in a different area and I'm just not foreseeing it or if it was one of them flukes, you know how it is sometimes like you know, how like some Walmarts and different stores like that, they'll have something and then it's gone, you know. I did see it in my TJ Maxx already before, so look in your TJ Maxx and stores like that if you're interested, because this is a big tub. Let me just say, I'm trying to see, this is 16 ounces, and this is a huge, huge tub. Like I said many times before, the only complaint I have and flaw is my pump does not work. That is one thing I've seen on several other people's reviews about their pump. But as long as I can twist this thing off and open it so, I, you know, it's just like a cream, you open it up and everything. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, like this, I have, I actually put it on today, just now. I don't feel like this is a product I have to worry about putting on only at night or whatever, you know. But mm, it just, it gives me that hydration that I look for, that plump hydration feeling to my skin. And I've really fell in love with this. I feel like this is another game changer that I added into my regimen. And, you know, retinol is kind of the thing I'm working with right now. I do have one from Zen Abaji. I'm working in with that one. And it's a little more potent than this. This apply on your face, neck, and hands, which that's what I've done. I've done it on my hands. I definitely work this one down on my neck, my decollete. If you do want to get this product, uh, I will put a link down below. I did see it on Amazon too. I think there was like an, even a two pack or something like that. Uh, but there's probably other brands out there that have the retinol. Like I said, Amory had one in particular from a company and I forget the company that she seems to really like. This is the one I bumped into because as soon as I seen it, I recognized it was similar to the product that she shared. And I only paid like I want to say 
five, almost six dollars, maybe seven the most for this. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, jackpot. You know, you feel like you just you win some things. I do really enjoy uh, a couple skin polishes because I got to think about that. Like, you know, some of my face scrubs. There's a lot of face scrubs I enjoy. But honestly, my face scrubs, I feel like it's almost hard for me to pick a favorite right now because I'm loving each one in their own different way because I'd be, I, I really had a hard time. All right, beauty. So that's my top five favorite skincare products that I have been using lately. If you guys would go and check out Cindy's video, like I said, I will have a link down below to her video. Please go check her out and show her some love and subscribe if you like. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I very much appreciate it. And as I always say, it would put a smile on my face. If you did come from Cindy's channel or you just came here in general and found me from someone else or somewhere else, uh, you can join me each week. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and make sure you do also hit the bell so that way you'll be notified of when my new videos will be uploaded. And I do usually put videos up each week, depending at least one, one video a week, maybe a couple videos a week. I, I rotate around with that, but definitely I do try to at least have like one video a week up for you guys. So, and as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.